Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking space hyperdrive animation scene using Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need for this space scene to work is the inside of a cockpit. Now the best place to go for this is by using AI and I'm using Adobe Firefly here and all I did is I wrote down a few keywords like space scene inside of a cockpit, um, inside of a spacecraft and I changed some of the settings for example I'm using the cyberpunk setting the 3d art the hyper realistic um, as well as studio lighting and vibrant color and once I put all of that stuff in I was able to generate uh, this one now if you're happy with how these look you have to remember that we're going to take this to Photoshop and we are going to cut out that uh, screen over there so please make sure that there you know you minimize how many intricate things that you have on there so once you're happy with your image just download it and we'll take it to Photoshop so here we are in Photoshop and the first thing that we need to do is we just need to rasterize that layer so I'm just right clicking on that layer and I've just pressed rasterize the next thing that we need to do is I'm just gonna grab the lasso tool and I'm just gonna draw a box around that and then I'm just gonna go to edit content aware fill and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let uh, Photoshop work its magic, just output to the current layer, press apply, press okay, and now we have fixed up that. Doesn't have to look that perfect because the rest of the effects will look pretty good. Now what we need to do is we need to cut out this uh, screen over here. So what we are going to use is we are going to use the quick selection tool. And if you press the brackets keys on your keyboard, that will increase the size of your selection. Uh, you can also zoom in to try and you know not go over that screen. And all you have to do is just you know draw a selection around here. Now once you have your selection, what you can do is you can also go to select, uh, modify, and then if you go to smooth, and let's say we'll have a smoothing effect here of 10 pixels, um, it will just smooth it all out for you. And then all you have to do is just press delete. Now we can get rid of the background because we don't really need it. And now we've got that screen cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of the windows over here. Cool, so now once you've cut out all those windows over there, all you have to do is just go to file, uh, export, and export this as a PNG with transparent background. If you export as a JPEG, then this will be white and the effect won't really work. So once we have that, we will go to After Effects. So here we are in After Effects and the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new composition. So I'm just going to run with a 1920 by 1080 pixel document, 30 FPS and a duration of about 10 to 15 seconds. Just press OK. The first thing that we need to do here is we need to create a new solid and I'm just going to call this stars and I'm just going to search for the effect called CC star burst. And once I've got that, then what I can do is I can change a few of these things. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the speed uh, back down to zero. And I'm just going to play around with the scatter. So I'm going to increase that to somewhere around about, you know, 300 ish. and like that's pretty good so far we have a nice you know space scene already but now we need to animate this so what we are going to do is we are going to hit that stopwatch for speed i'm just going to press u on my keyboard to bring up my keyframes then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to probably around about let's say five seconds and i'm going to bring that value up to five so now we have it starts off slow and then it speeds up to about there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to about nine seconds and then I'm just gonna add another keyframe. So at five, uh, at the speed of five. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the end of the composition and then bring that back down to zero. So now it will go in, it will hit, you know, hyperspace and it will be pretty fast in there and then it will slowly taper off. So now what we need to do is we need to easy ease these keyframes over there. So you can press F9 on your keyboard or you can go to keyframe assistant, go to easy ease. And then with those two keyframes highlighted, we can open up the graph editor. And what we can do is we can highlight this portion and make it a little bit, you know, of an acceleration of a ramp on that side. And we can do the same thing on the other side, but going in the opposite way. So now it will have a nice, you know, speed in and then it will come out 
on the other side. So now when we go to here, there are no streaks on these stars and that's because we need to add another effect which is called Echo. Now, let me remind you that Echo is pretty intense on your computer. So maybe you might have to drop it to half or even lower if it starts to chug. So the first thing that we're gonna do here is we are going to animate it firstly, all right? And so what we are going to do is we are going to animate the number of echoes here. So I'm gonna hit that stopwatch. I'm gonna press U to bring up all of my keyframes and then I'm gonna follow these keyframes over here. So I'm gonna increase the number of echoes to 100. All right, and then I'm gonna move on to nine seconds and then I'm gonna make sure that it's 100 again. And then I'm gonna move to the end and I'm gonna set it back down to zero. So now once I have that, now we just have to worry about, you know, the streaks over here. And you can play around with some of these settings over here, but I seem to like negative 0.0025. Or even even maybe a bit less so maybe 0.0015 and yeah you can play around with some of those settings but I think that look, looks pretty cool you know you have that nice streak and now what happens is you know it, again it starts off slow and then it gets to that point and it starts to streak and then once it's in that you know meat of the hyperdrive jump then you will have the full streaks and then it will slow down and get to the end and it will go to its resting spot. So I think that looks pretty cool. But again, what we need to do is we need to easy ease those last uh, keyframes. So I'm just gonna go back up to keyframe assistant, easy ease, go to the graph editor and then do the same thing again. I'm just gonna bring that over and I will also bring this one over just like that. And so now that will, you know, easy ease all those keyframes. That's looking pretty cool. So now what we need to do is we need to bring our cockpit in here. So I'm just going to right click and go import. And I'm just going to drag that on top of my stars. And then I need to press S for scale to just bring it in to whatever the scale is. And already that is looking pretty cool. So now we need to sell the effect a little bit more. So what we can do is we can make the cockpit shake while it goes into hyperspace. So the easiest way to do that is with a wiggle expression, but we want the intensity to change over time. So what we need to do is we need to add a slider. So I'm just gonna add a slider control and then I'm gonna duplicate that because I need two. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna rename the first slider control to frequency. And I'm going to rename the second slider control to intensity. So I'll just call it ints, I guess. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press P for position. I'm going to hold option on my Mac. And I'm going to hit that stopwatch over there. And then what I need to do is I need to write this out. So I'm going to write freak. All right. So what we have up there is equal to grab the pick whip, drag it to the slider. And then I'm gonna write int is equal to, then again, grab the pick whip, drag it to the slider. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write wiggle, and then I'm gonna open the brackets and I'm gonna write uh, break, all right, comma, int. All right, now, if you've done that correctly, well, not, nothing would have happened just yet, <laughs> but, so now that we've set up our slider with the wiggle expression, we, we've got to see if it actually works. So if I just go and write, let's say one and 10, all right, you can see now that the, the cockpit is slowly moving around. So what we need to do is we need to animate that. So I'm gonna hit the stopwatch for both those uh, sliders. I'm just gonna press U so I can see what's happening over here. I'm gonna get to that five second mark and then I'm just gonna increase this to let's say eight and 30. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep those same keyframes just like that and then I'm gonna 
bring him back down to let's say one and ten so whatever it was um, before at the start and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to my keyframe assistant and I'm just gonna go to easy ease to uh, bring that back in and you can see what's happening there so it starts off slowly the intensity isn't that much but as it starts to get into hyperspeed now you can see that the cockpit is moving around so now we have these areas where it doesn't kind of fill in so that's an easy fix all you have to do is just press s for scale and then just you know zoom it in a little bit more and just make sure that you go through the animation to see if there are any uh, black areas over there cool so now we've got the majority of our effect now we just have to tie everything else together so there are a few things that we can do all right the first thing that we can do is we can go to our stars uh, layer over here and we can add some glow and if we just go and if we play around with some of these settings so for example the glow intensity i'm just going to bring down to about 0.6 and the glow radius i'm just going to bring up to about 20 percent and the threshold i'm going to put at about 80 percent so the glow just adds a small you know little bit of detail for you know those stars in the background we also need to add some noise so we're just going to add a new adjustment layer and inside the adjustment layer the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add some curves so i'm just going to bring down you know um i'm going to make sure that the adjustment layer is at the top and i'm just going to create a small s bend to kind of you know make those things glow a little bit more and i think that looks pretty cool and the final thing that we can do in here is we can create another new adjustment layer and we can add some noise. So I'm gonna bump the noise up to let's say about 8%, maybe even a bit more for this clip. So maybe something like 12% to tie it all together. And I think that's looking pretty cool. And another thing that we can add in here is some Illumetry color. So now I'm just going with this SL Bleach uh, HDR look and if you don't like the look you can always change and dial back the intensity just like that. So that's pretty much it for this um, you know, tutorial there. The only other thing that I added to the space cockpit was a little bit of chromatic aberration. And if you have any of the Red Giant plugins, what I added was this Chromatown effect. And basically I animated that also in here as well so as it goes into hyperspeed um, then this chromatic aberration will kind of occur and then it goes uh, back down to zero so what it would look like is something like this i would animate the completeness i'll go from zero to let's say um you know to about here maybe to about we'll go to probably about here then go to about 90 percent all right, and then we'll go to 100%. I just press U to bring up my keyframes. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'll just copy this keyframe, move that to about 10, and then we'll go back to uh, zero on the end of that. And so there it goes to a complete stop. And so that, that was pretty much it. So that was creating that, you know, um, chromatic aberration with the hyperspace jump. So yeah, so that's about it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.